It's been a journey to arrive at tonight's final vote on the vacation rental ordinance, and I applaud you all for continuing to push this matter through and urge you in these final hours to please consider including caps on the number of short-term vacation rentals that Rockland will permit. <clears throat> I urge you to implement the action plan of CAPS now and review later, rather than the plan of re review first and then implement maybe something, maybe, possibly later, after looking for three years according to order number five. Doing nothing tonight basically... My name is Barbara Hurd. I'm the owner of Camden Accommodations in Rockport. We offer both rental agent services and property management services. We're on call 24-7. We've been in business since 1994 and have had many properties in Rockland throughout the years. We currently have a property in Rockland which we have successfully managed since 1998 with no complaints from neighbors. Normal booking periods in our Rockland properties are four to seven nights. We do not, we do, not do anything less than four nights. I want to thank you all for working so hard to solve some of these issues. I rent through Airbnb um, and I was given a personal business tax form um, and I contacted the IRS and a variety of other agencies and everyone said it's not a business you know I'm renting excuse me I'm kind of nervous I'm renting my primary residence um, and I'm a teacher so during the summers we leave um, and since it's that situation it's not a business it's my primary residence so I guess um, it's if no if the SBA the IRS and a variety of other agencies don't view it as, as a business I don't think I should pay just a normal tax on it thank you Ms. Crane my point is if the law says that if you have assets in Rockland that generate income as of January 1, you have to declare them by April 15th, and they're taxed. If we don't want to apply that to businesses, I'm all for it. I don't need to pay it either. But to me, it's enforcement and equity and parity of the laws we have. And with all the sharing economy, it's an opportunity to look at what we do and what is our practice, but do it equitably to all businesses regardless of what it is.